Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy, and welcome to another Thoughtful Thursday video. In today's video, while I chat with you via voiceover, I am going to be working on this corner cabinet in my kitchen. I will show you what I'm gonna be doing. So this is where I house some of the spices that I like to sprinkle instead of using a spice spoon. And then I just have some other random various things in here. I actually do have a video where I made over this space and added the spice jars and these uniform jars for different baking things. But I need to clean it up and maybe reorganize the items a little bit to make it more functional. But the main thing that I need to get done is these jars that I got on Amazon, while they're really cute, this lid, let me pull this off very easily. It comes off very easily. This sprinkle lid, um, it doesn't pop on securely. My daughter and I both found this out the hard way and dumped a bunch of spices on different foods that we were trying to dump a little bit of spices on. So we usually just hold it with our finger to try to um, hold it in place. I don't know if you can tell like how easily that just comes right off, but I really don't like this design. I did not want to buy a whole new set of jars because I bought these not too long ago. So instead I purchased just tops, just new lids. So with these lids, I can just get rid of that altogether. It has that side or the sprinkle side. So I really would like to get that done today. Also, I recently kind of rearranged some things in my kitchen and now I don't know if you can see it back here, but my oil diffuser is back in this corner. So I'm hoping that I can make room for my essential oils up in this cabinet as well. We'll see what I can do with it, but I thought you might enjoy coming along as I just clean, tidy, and rearrange this space. But while I do that, I wanted to just chat with you, and this Thoughtful Thursday might be slightly different than my previous Thoughtful Thursday videos. It's not gonna be so much encouragement or inspiration as it is just going to be a chat about something that I've just been thinking about. And I have been thinking about how much is appropriate to share online. I have just seen different people talking about influencers and they share too much or they share too little and I just kind of wanted to share with you my thoughts on this topic and I also wanted to share this because I truly want to hear your feedback whether you are a youtuber or if you're not a youtuber I would like to know your feedback on what you think is appropriate to share online and how much to share and if it's okay to keep parts of your life private even if you are a growing YouTuber, growing Instagrammer. Um, but anyway, let's get into this and I'll chat with you. Okay, so like I said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about privacy online. And by this, I don't necessarily mean like my personal information. Obviously, I've shared which city I live in and my last name and things like that. And I recognize people could probably find me because I've shared that. I'm talking more about like personal life, like things that are going on in my personal life. I think that anyone is free to share as much or as little as they want online. However, I have just been thinking about how everything I share is out there forever. Even if I take it down, someone could have saved or copied my content. Um, realistically, less likely with how small my channel is, but I'm also speaking in generalities here when I'm talking about this topic. 
I think a lot of people who do not have a YouTube channel don't think about the fact that most YouTubers are only sharing a very small portion of their life with you. For me, I started this channel to market my organizing business and to inspire others to get organized by sharing how I organize spaces. I did not start my channel to share about my personal life, like vlogs or my family or anything personal that might be going on with me. Sometimes things get difficult for me if I'm going through a challenging time in my personal life. It's hard for me to ignore that and then just share surface level stuff because in my real life with my friends, I'm very vulnerable and authentic, but I just keep coming back to the fact that that is not why I started my channel. I do find it interesting though when YouTubers and especially those with bigger channels share about their personal life. I think often we connect with them through perhaps a common experience experience, making us feel like we know them. And I'm trying to find the balance of sharing specific parts of my life without sharing deeply personal things. I'm trying to find the balance of being authentic and relatable without having to like spill my guts. Admittedly, I can be an all or nothing type person when sharing with friends. I will either tell them very little or they will get my entire life story. So this balance thing is really tough for me. I also want to protect my children's privacy and honestly honor my husband's privacy as well. Although they are all technically adults, I still feel like they should have the right to decide what is public on the internet. I always ask them if they appear in a video or if I'm going to show their space like their rooms. I'm actually really thankful that I don't have young kids and have to navigate protecting them while realizing they are a part of everyday life and may appear in videos. I guess in a sense, these Thoughtful Thursday videos are a place where I can open up and talk about issues in a way that you are able to get to know me a little better. Like I said, I'm just trying to find a balance because I've definitely connected with YouTubers when they've been brave enough to share their stories, yet I'm cautious to not exploit any of my life stories or situations just for views, if that makes any sense. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this. If you have some sort of platform on YouTube, Instagram, or even just Facebook, how do you decide what to share? Have you thought about the ramifications of everything you're sharing? Let me know down in the comments. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. I hope that you'll stick around for the rest of this video to see how this space turns out in the end. I've been using these sprinkle tops for the last week or so, and they have been working really well, so I'm glad that I ended up going ahead and doing this. Well, thank you for listening to my thoughts today on this topic. I'm sorry it wasn't more of an encouraging talk today. It was more so me just processing my thoughts about this topic. But if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. On Thursdays, I like to share some motivation for you like cleaning, organizing, or decluttering. And then along with that, I share some thoughts on a topic or on an issue. If that is something that sounds interesting to you, I hope that you might stick around and hit the subscribe button.